Hello, people of Earth. We're helping out Thane find his boy. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? Yeah, yeah. I can get and that. this stupid oh, guy here, well, the guy we're swarming around, is going to give fine. us some information. Some quarians who can strip the. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse. What are you? Oh shit, Krios. I thought you retired. Commander Shepard? I, I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? We don't have time for this. Oh, oh God, Thane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I carried for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Okay, let's go find him. Hope I didn't break your neck. I didn't want to do that, Mouse. We just don't have much time. Just go away, man. Mouse, I'm sorry too. Just go. <laughs> You're the one leaving, okay? That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Wow. You had to make a living. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people. Damn it, I just cut him off. But come on, let's go. Wait, isn't there a little quick travel thing so I can just get to him real quickly? Yes, 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 yes. It's somewhere near here. Because I see cabs. Recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? Where the frick? CSEC office. That's where I need to go. So where are you, bald man? I need details. You're not here. You're back there, maybe? There he is. Captain Bailey. Yes? Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Ah. Uh... Look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. Will you still help us? I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. Cool. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I need to make some preparations. When I come back, we'll do this. Oh, frick. Fine. Come back before I lose my nerve. I gotta be crazy. So I'm gonna come from you up behind. Yes? You ready to interrogate Kelly? Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Thank you. Bailey's a helpful guy, actually. I think he appreciates that we're actually trying to do some good in the world. Obviously, this guy is resisting. <laughs> We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. 
Just looking at us like, what the hell are you, man? You got black eyes, freaking me out. You'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. It's like saying that his Pikachu Captain, eyes. His lawyer's here. And Elias has his VI set to page him if C seconds within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? You be good guy. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. I'll just beat the crap out of him. Quickly. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. What the hell are you two? <laughs> we want to help you. You ordered a hit on someone. You're going to tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you think you Mr. are? Kellum, I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money too. I'm gonna straighten you out. As soon as Bailey gets here. Just tell us what we need to know. My associate isn't very patient. <laughs> what are you, frog boy? Oh my gosh. This little sidekick? What, kid? You gonna bore me into confessing? You ain't shit. Works for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? No. Nope. Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. Joram! Joram Talit. Dorian in the 800 box. He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. <laughs> that wasn't hard. For as much as people fear this guy, I expected he'd last longer. Shepard, he's just a common criminal. You've killed a reaper. <laughs> yeah, at least we got the name before he passed out. Let's go. That's awesome. It was actually pretty quick. <laughs> Just beat the crap out of him. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. So he hates us? Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? You haven't heard what the aliens have been saying? They think the Council died because our fleet refused to save them. That we stacked the new Council with humans and yes-men. Udina doesn't take any crap from them, but that seems to make it worse. They act like we're jackbooted thugs enforcing a coup. Yeah. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. Awesome. I loved it. That's funny how he was teasing me, I mean, telling me to ease up. But I just, I went again and he gave me answers. I don't think I'd be a very good interrogator. Unless, you know, I knew he was chained up, couldn't physically hurt me. But I don't think I could do that, you know, make him all bloody face and that. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow the lead on the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I understand. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Holy crap, that was cool. That was freaking amazing. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. So that's the guy he's trying to kill?
How you guys doing? Oh frick, he's got a bodyguard too. That might make this difficult. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Start moving. Because they're headed that way. I think to mix it up, I'll go this way. No problem so far. Not that that mattered. Okay, they're right there. Do you have the target? Yep. Target in sight. Holy frick, this may just get tough. Oh frick, I can barely see him. Oh no. Where'd they go? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, they're only in there. I'm almost in position. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. No Holy freak. Looks like that Krogan's getting pissed. Just threw that little data pad on the floor. Crazy guy. We'll come out now. Why are you running? You got no reason to run. Freak. Lost him in my sights. How you guys doing? Frick, frick, frick. Nope. I've got him. I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? Just One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. I'm relocating to the next room. Let me know if anything changes. Where'd he go? Okay, it's with these two guys. Maybe you'd better do the damn job I pay you. He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Uh oh. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. I got that weird feeling. Like somebody's watching me. Yes, sir. I gotta stay at the site. Why are you guys going that way? What the hell? Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? I'm with the uh, Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? You can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just, just go on through, okay? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, just don't let my boss see you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, they're right there. You guys gonna move? Or anything at all? Oh, that's him. Nice shades of green he's got. Oh, I thought he killed him. Call yet. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. Have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What 
the hell? Ellie, get the hell out of here. Yeah, yeah, I will. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you could die in peace or something? Exactly. I came to grant you peace. Oh. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyet, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. You're doing them a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. <laughs> yeah, I will. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Cool. That's a nice, nice little touchy moment they had. A new outfit and a new power unlocked. Thane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distractions from the mission. Thane's personal valid reveal troubling issues with little positive mayhem. Blah, 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 blah. That was awesome. It said there that Bailey might actually recruit Coley out. It'd be pretty cool if that actually happened. But I should go talk to them and see what is what. I think I also got to talk to Miranda. And Tali. And Garrus. And... Thane. Not Jack, though. I haven't done hers yet. <laughs> They've been in there a while. Uh, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Bad people make a lot of enemies. It could have been anyone. No, it had to be one hell of an assassin. The best, maybe. How's your son doing? How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Did he just wink? Interesting. I'll think about it. I think he winked. Did you just freaking wink? <laughs> That's strange, man. But it seems like everything's back to normal. Ooh, there's a door there. You think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I know C6. Well, I believe that's true. I see no. This recruits is a 20 kilo Ferris slug. Oh, I hate Feel that guy. Way. Feel the weight. But he's just a douchey guy, man. He's just. <sighs> he's been mad. He's like, I've worked my way up to top, so all you maggots gotta do the same. I will not help you in any way. I will make you feel like crap while doing so. Do you understand me, maggots? Sir, yes, sir. I can't hear you. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> it's just freaking long. I hate those kind of guys. Just when I just grabbed him and stuff. So let's talk to Gary see how he's doing with the whole Sedonis thing. Are you okay about Sedonis, bro? He didn't look at all like I'd expect him to. Man. 
This game is really orange. <laughs> Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. <laughs> it's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. <laughs> what about Ilos, man? I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. <laughs> this time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Uh, yeah. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. So you guys just duke it out? You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. Did you take her head? I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. <laughs> He's just smiling like a creepy guy. So, you guys, like, made love? Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. That was the creepy smile the shepherd gave, man. He's like... <laughs> Seriously, that was creepy. Okay, who did I say? Garrus? Sane? Kasumi? Sure. I'll talk to Kasumi after I talk to Sane. You okay? What's going on with your boy? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Mm -hmm. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? Nah. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. That's pretty odd. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. 
they ask Drell to assist them. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child fighting against the water. They fly over the back of the sea bed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Oh, well then I'm sorry. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. <laughs> Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our home world, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. How's it like now? What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. That's pretty extreme. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. The hell was that? Were you, like, with your family? Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Okay, let's go talk to the others. That guy, man. He's pretty deep.